everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. To use his beautiful guard cutting ability, cuts it as well as anybody in this division. And it's not just the technique, it's the athleticism that allows him to be so successful and get that advantageous position on the ground. A lot of guys just haven't seen seamless transitions like the ones brought to the table by this young man. We'll see if this fight goes to the canvas, if he has the advantage we expect him to have. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. So here is the two-time World Combat Sambo champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He has been dominant every step of the way in his mixed martial arts career. He actually used to wrestle bears as a kid and has been equally successful with human beings. Perfect in his MMA career. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight, Joe, in what is another big spot. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib Igor Imagomedov! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's all right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Big punch from the bottom. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He gets in a full guard here. Big body punch. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. He's posturing up here. And back to full guard. Oh, really nice work to keep Dizzy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And he reverses. 
reverses position. He, he landed a left hand there. Showing good defense here, controlling that arm, keeping him from hitting him. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Caught him with a punch. Postures up. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Excellent posture. Mounts again. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. He's back to full mount again. It looks like he's hunting for an arm here. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's gonna sit back. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. That's it. And that will do it. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And finally... One more time, no choice but to tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, so there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Those naysayers, and they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy.